Welcome to the new comment show, the new-ish comment show. Why? In the past, we've uh, answered your questions uh, from the YouTube comments or responded to your YouTube comments, but this week we're doing things a little differently. Ooh. Ooh. This isn't okay. your dad's comment show. <laughs> yeah, the These comments show. come from uh, our Facebook page, Call Tumor's Facebook page. I think I've ever done Wait, where did these comments come from? I was loading it. We asked for your questions about our videos, about our innermost desires and personal secrets. Wow, and okay. Like the first one is just like, what product does Adam use in his H hair? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll take this one. Okay. Always Ooh, choose the one orange is my name. favorite color. Nate Colosimo writes, what happened to Dinosaur Office? Okay. That's actually that's <laughs> that's a, a really question. good question. That is a good that question. That is a really good question. I am the least qualified person here to answer that, but I, I, I love answer. that dinosaur office. Go for it. Um, I think, yeah, you are in it. I was Sheila. Ah, ah, ah. You're so funny, Craig. Craig! <laughs> <laughs> really, the problem is that dinosaur office is, like, very intense to make. My cousin Megan's uh, daughter, mm -hmm. Emma, Big Dinosaur Office fan. She's very, very, very young. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Probably the youngest person to be disciplined by the early cancellation <laughs> of the show. Yeah. Yeah. Baby. It's like, where is it? Where's the Dinosaur like, Office? It's in turnaround yeah. right now. It's like, which oh, means, uh, well, I'm going to start an internet petition to try to rescue <laughs> this thing. Someone please contact my healthcare provider! Nick Schlossen uh, asks, with all the pantless shots you guys <laughs> have done over the years, are you all fairly well acquainted with each other's junk? We have I, done a lot of pantsless shots. I saw Adam Conover's balls. <laughs> really? Right. We were t we're shooting pooping without your phone. I almost said pooping without your pants. Yeah. <laughs> you know when you do How that sometimes. How could you sometimes? do that? How could you ever do that? <laughs> so he was in like a little dance bell on um on the toilet and like he was there for like Should we explain what a dance belt is? I don't is that Oh a little dance belt is like little nude undies. Oh sorry. A porky pig in it today. So that they could like, you know, blur it out and everything like that. And um, he was sitting on the toilet probably for like it was probably like an eight hour shoot day. And at one point I just looked down and his ball was just hanging out the side of it and it had been like all day. I like pointed it out and the director was like, Yeah, I noticed that I just didn't say <laughs> What's the point of the dance belt then? Emma Mould. Would you rather live in a post-apocalyptic world where everything is dead or be stuck in a never-ending time loop forever? Post-apocalyptic world? Uh, I kind of think there's more freedom in the never-ending time loop. Yeah, well, okay, well, where are you? I guess that's the question. Yeah, like, are you like, just like you're floating on, in a void? No, no, you're no. on vacation and it's a never-ending time loop. Why are you adding that? <laughs> I'll oh. see you in the time loop. You'll, that... I'll listen to all the podcasts. I'll read all the books. I'll... You'll never die. Like that's if you're really afraid of death, you're, true. you'll be immortal essentially. Yeah. I think. I'll be immortal. <laughs> Y'all just be playing Wandering with around. sticks. <laughs> We're all like in a real weird existential funk right now. You just put us in, <laughs> which only another card can get us out of. All right, wow. Mike. Let's do this one. Seamless transition. Ali Javid, uh, would you say you write better scene high on sugar, high on coffee, or high? Oh, not high on sugar. Not I get high on sugar. cranky as hell. Yeah, high on sugar, it's weird, right? If you're like, like, I feel like I run into this problem because I, I'll, like, when I'm writing, it's just that like, just like compulsively snack. snack. And like, and they're just here in the office. So it's, yeah. I need something to do because I'm a fucking idiot. And like, just like shoving <laughs> things in my mouth. Yeah. yeah, I guess coffee. I couldn't do it high because yeah. my brain, I would just keep, I would get distracted too much by other things, I feel like. Maybe sativa. Have any of you sativa tried writing high, while high? I do that. Um, I don't think so. Like, I haven't, I, but I do. I, I am licensed medical marijuana user. That's <laughs> Welcome right. to California. I went to Dr. Ganja. <laughs> I do have a cup of coffee every coffee. morning, Lots so of coffee, technically tea, I'm in bed. Although coffee we, has a threshold. Do not even talk to this one before she's had her coffee. Mm. Oh my god. I'm a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful mustard green color. Oh, I have a shirt that color. Uh, Sheila Abdon writes, uh, are there any CH classic skits you would all like to revisit, fingers crossed, for Phantom of the Office. Uh, um, good question. Class CH, I mean, one, I mean, I'm really, I want to do more George Martin videos, like if yeah, one of the time arrives. That's like my current favorite thing to work on. I'd love to see Troopers come back, but I, oh, I feel yeah. Troopers, like. Of course. You have forced me to activate interrogation mode. my band. That's my answer. I'm stealing your what, answer. You can't take my answer. I, no, no, no. Yeah. no. no mine, mine I haven't been here long enough. Too. I say troopers too. Okay. Wow, we're, thank you. We're That's... all in agreement. Call me. What? Call me. Levy Byers, have you ever written something you're ashamed of? 
<laughs> oh my freaking god, yes. Yes. Fairly regularly, like, we'll bring stuff that, ne you know, there's stuff that never gets produced, because we write, like, three times more stuff that, like, actually gets produced. And, yeah. yeah. And, I brought like, a there are definitely some things in there that it's like, this is a gold idea, and you start writing it, and you're like, what was I thinking? Yeah, and, like, yeah, yeah. you yeah. bring it in to read among your closest <laughs> friends and your peers who whose like, opinion needs so much to you, and you're like, I know this is garbage. underwear. Yeah. <laughs> I did that yesterday. I brought two and a half pages of a script that I didn't think that was that great. And I was like, right after we read through it, I was like, so, I don't like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeff Rogers asked, is it true Beef Gerwich was created by the Illuminati to spread mad cow disease and polio throughout the U.S. as a sign of the start of the New World Order? Yeah, that is, yeah, that that is true. You, you, have saw, you saw the clues. You Well done. He's yeah. a lizard. He became his true lizard self. Not even a lizard person, he's just a straight just up, like, a lizard. A small iguana. Adrian Kelso writes, how to overcome procrastinating. Oh my god. <laughs> I uh, am a slave to to-do lists. That is like, uh, yeah. and I- and But I, they become a procrastination in themselves. They can. Have you ever written a to-do list and had to write to-do list on there and then crossed it off oh, just yeah. so you could feel like you did something? Yeah, but that's just it, because you, get, just... you get a fucking rush from, from going yes, like, I yes. got this thing done. But oftentimes I will turn off my Wi-Fi. That's yeah. a much more yeah, practical turn solution. turn off the Wi-Fi, close all those tabs. It's crazy, like you like just instinctually. Yeah, like you're like, you're like I wrote three lines, I deserve something. Let's wow, stop procrastinating <laughs> the next question. Ugh. Elvis Vasquez, what would you consider your best or your personal favorite series? If you have a single sketch you really loved, that works too. As just like a one-off sketch, I, I really, really love Second Cheapest Wine. Uh, yeah, 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 that's great. We'll have your second cheapest wine. Very good, sir. Second cheapest wine. There's a line in there, like right after, um, right after one of the characters like tries the wine that's being like placed and before. She's like, yep, she's yep, like, yep, that's wine. That's wine. Yeah. And I fucking say that all the time. Like when it, whenever it's like, uh, I like when I'm in a restaurant like trying wine and like that's the first thing that pops in my mind. It's like, yep, that's wine. Yeah. <laughs> yep, it's it's wine. Jeff Vitkuski. What's been the most difficult and challenging writing piece for each of you so far? It makes me feel shy. <laughs> <laughs> the ones that are so painful, right? You're just like, just get this away. Like, I'd never want to think about this again. This is going to be a complete disaster because it was so painful to write. Actually wind up doing, becoming yeah. more successful you than the ones that you one. think are like, oh, this one, this was such a breeze. Yeah. This is going to yeah. like, just sail into success. Mitt Romney style from mm. a while ago was really hard to write because usually when you write a song parody, like it's in English, so you have like, rhyme scheme that you kind of use or yeah. you understand like where the syllables come because yeah. they are coming the way that mm -hmm. you know the same language syllabically works <laughs> and we were taking a song that was in Korean and then making a like an English, English parody, of it. parody. On the other hand, the other hand, I, uh, no, no, Dan Gerwich and I wrote a Monster Mash parody like last year, <laughs> and that was so easy to write. The syllables don't match up. It's not even rhyme that much. You just be like, like some things happened the other day, then a bunch of other things happened, and this line's a lot longer. <laughs> yeah. Stuart and I had an idea for a song about like a Santa getting a motor, trading his sled for a motorcycle. Like we never wrote it, but we always thought that like, doesn't that sound like a Christmas novelty yeah, song? Yeah, it does. And it's like Santa, like Santa's got a hog this Christmas, and like <laughs> Mrs. Claus is on the back, and stuff like that. <laughs> Rooney Talwar writes, how do you get a job at College Humor? Uh, more specifically, how the hell did you get a job? For maximum effect, read condescendingly. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. This yeah, is yeah. great. I started out in a non-creative element at College Humor. I was uh, working as a sales planner, so I was uh, I was the asshole who was helping other assholes put ads on the site. Um, <laughs> so I, we have you to thank for when the little ambulance drove a clock. A little bit. <laughs> um, I science. didn't make that happen, but I didn't stop it from happening. <laughs> Did that for a year and then um, somehow managed to convince <laughs> someone to move me over to uh, the editorial side and did that for a year and then moved over to the video side. So I've just been crawling my we way through the company. Him. My story is not, it's pretty straightforward. I just wrote articles for them in college. And then that after college, that turned into like an internship. And then that turned into like, that was, that turned into a full-time writing job. So it's kind of just, I think I was in a little early. I kind of was just good timing. Like I think they were, the show just got picked up. So they needed, they like, they just got bought by IC and the show got picked up. So they were just like hiring a ton of people. So, and I was, yeah just kind of wrote my way into it. For me, I was friends with Dan Gerwich. 
um, from performing uh, improv with him and Sarah left to go to SNL so they needed a new girl writer and Dan asked me to apply. Last question. Last question. This is it. Josh Shaver writes, bring back Nick's warehouses. <laughs> we got every kind of girl's costume for Halloween. Sexy witch. Sexy devil. Sexy cat. Give me a pair of scissors. I can make any costume sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Just cut, make a little, cut the legs really yeah, short and yeah. cut the neck out. Good. There's almost like a rule 34 quality to it where it's like anything, any character or profession you could think of, there's probably a sexy, sexy costume yeah. version of it. I think I found already. a loophole okay. this weekend. <laughs> I was <laughs> thinking about mermaids and I was thinking about like, um, you know, people say like, oh, how do you fuck a mermaid? And mm -hmm. I was like, obviously you titty fuck them. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and obviously you would have titty sex with mm -hmm. them. Yeah. I don't know why I thought titty sex was more polite than titty <laughs> fuck. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh, I bet there's some deviant art of someone titty fucking uh, Ariel from The Little Mermaid. Uh -huh. And I Googled it, and yeah. I didn't find it. This is going to sound very silly. Did you try Bing? <laughs> A, the, apparent, is Bing better with DeviantArt? Apparently, no, uh, with porn. Apparently, Bing's porn search results are like way more Ooh. effective than Google's because Google is like slowly Why like. Why are they advertising that? It's like they're getting way more people using I know. Bing. Bing, for when you want to touch a ding. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thanks for being here. Thank, Thank all you. of you for your very good for questions. For all your questions. Uh, that sounded so. For your, I, that didn't sound good enough. Hey, this has been College Humor, a comment hey. show. Thank you for all your great questions. We'll be back next week with even more comments and even more things from all our friends. Hey, hey. That was great. Aruda. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I'm not going to top that. <laughs>